Well, uh, boys, that might have been the most brutal, like, loss I've seen the Saints take since the no-call Rams game. That was bad. That's, like, that's that's one for the, that's one, like, it, that's up there with all the bad ones. Like, that is fucking horrible shit. Uh, the Saints lose to the Vikings 28-25 because we, God, the fucking kick was so close, too. It literally bounces off the very edge of the upright, bounces we literally double doinked it. It literally goes on the crossbar. And literally, if I farted on the fucking kick, like where the ball was going, it would have gone in. Like all I had to do was just be there and have let it like a, just a great protein fart. And it would have gone in. But, uh, just damn. And we're one and three now. We've lost three straight games, all to NFC opponents. I mean, this is fucking bad. Like, and th- what sucks too is that this is a game when we like we had like a lead late. Like this was like a game that we really felt like we could win, and we actually played competent football for a while. But it was just every time we did something, like the offense figured it out finally, and then the defense started fucking said Lattimore, Lattimore. Look, before this game, I was pushing like an all pro agenda for you because you were playing lights out. But this game, I don't care how good Justin Jefferson is. You fucking sold. You sold the bag. Like, I do not like you right now for that shit. You fucked the game away. Because you had to make Will Lutz make two 60-yard field goals just to fucking tie the game. Because of your bum ass just letting Jefferson get open. Although, I don't understand why there's no safety help. Safety help back. I don't know. I, even though Lattimore is elite and all that shit. I would not have him fucking one-on-one with zero safety help. That's just not a good idea. But... I mean, what the fuck do I know? I guess they, they think they're smarter than me. You know, whatever. Uh, Yeah, really tough loss. Well, Lutz has that dog in him. I don't care. Because he made he made a new career-high field goal 60 yards, but no one's going to know because he had to kick a 61-yard field goal later on, just a few minutes later, and it literally doubled the Like, that's how close it was. So, and we, 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 fought, we fought back, too. That fourth quarter was fucking insane. Obviously, we didn't have Jameis Winston or Alvin Kamara or Michael Thomas in this game. And it don't actually play pretty well, but it was all for naught. He went 20-28, 236 yards, a touchdown, no picks. He had a pretty good game. And Latavius Murray came out of the practice squad and had 11 carries, 57 yards, and a touchdown. He looked fast. He looked quick. He looked like he had a burst. Like, he actually looked pretty solid. And the receivers were good, even without Michael Thomas. Chris Olave had himself a good game. But, damn, he had such a crucial – I mean, I don't, want, I don't want to say drop because, like – he could have caught it, but it wasn't the last drive. It was a drive before that. It was a deep shot, and I swear I thought he was about to house it and win the game. But And he had another another catch, like literally the last second of the game, the last play before the double doink. He was open on the sideline barely. He just couldn't get that last foot in. But if he did, the kick would have been like 15 yards shorter, and that would have made – like we'd be in overtime right now. We could still be watching the game maybe. And when the result, it could have resulted in a tie, but you know what? I mean, I'd, I'd take it over a loss. I mean, dude, this is not good. We're 1-3, and three, and we play the Seahawks next week. You would think that'd be a good get-right game, but you can't ever say that because fucking we lost to the Panthers, who we really thought would be a good get-right game. I mean, I didn't necessarily think this was an easy win either. I thought I, I kind of thought we would lose this game. and I, I didn't make a preview video. I apologize. I had a lot of shit going on. But, I mean, damn. Now, credit to the Vikings. Credit to the Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins had some big balls, and he had a really good game in this game down the stretch. The defense played well at the beginning, but at the end, they just, they sold the game. And I'm sorry, the background, the dryer's going off. But, it, damn. Mark Ingram looks slow. I feel like I should have addressed that, too. Mark Ingram does not look the same. I really think we need to use Latavius Murray more. Even when Kamara's healthy, I want to see some more of Latavius Murray. He looks really good in this game. Like, he looked a lot better than he did in all those years, which is really, uh, in those couple years with us, which is really odd. I didn't really think he looked better considering his age, but he does look better. The fact that Lattimore's a leading tackler is not good. He had 10 tackles, 10 total tackles, 7 solo tackles. That is ass. That is not good. Fucking defense played good. We finally got a pick in this game. Tyron Matthew had a pick. That was really good. But, I mean, damn. Deontay Hardy had a really crucial muffed punt, I believe. I don't know if it was a kick. I think it was a, I think it was a punt. But he had a really crucial fumble. And he don't had a crucial fumble before half. There's just very few things. We're so close to winning these games, boys. Like, we're so close. We just... We literally just can't get over the hump. I mean, we're so close. We're literally, we're figuring it out, but we just can't, like, just, we just can't do it. Like, it's not, it's not possible. I mean, the, the end of the game was fucking insane. Like, I mean, look at these drives. 
It didn't help, by the way, that the Vikings start off the game with a 13-play, 75-yard drive that takes up seven minutes. That didn't help us. But at the end of the game, let's see, this starts off fucking nine minutes to the third quarter. Saints go on a 12-play drive, 78 yards, five minutes, touchdown. Vikings kick a field goal. We score a touchdown, nine plays, 75 yards. They score a touchdown, 10 plays, 75 yards. We kick a field goal, which is the, I believe it was a 60-yarder that we made. Eight plays, 33 yards. Vikings kick a field goal, six plays, 53 yards. That was all like on one play. That was the Jefferson play that went 39 yards. That was fucking tough. And then we had the missed 61-yard field goal, which went four plays, 32 yards. Andy Dalton had some big balls at the end. Re- much respect to Andy Dalton for actually really playing good in this game. It sucks Jameis couldn't go, but, it, I mean, he's really banged up. He needs to get right. Like, he needs to get healthy. Hopefully, he's fully healthy next week. But if not, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with starting Andy Dalton again and letting Jameis get 100% because his back is fucked. But, boys, it's not looking good. My 12-5 and five prediction is only two losses away from not being – possible like, I think at this point we'd be lucky to win 10 games just because like I mean I get new head coach and just and all that you know you got to figure it out and everything but I mean damn like these games and, I mean, if we don't clutch up against the Falcons the Falcons didn't choke against us we would be 0-4 could y'all fucking imagine that for 0-4 I mean damn this is really starting to feel like a lot like those 7-9 and nine seasons back in the day I mean this this is ass this is not good I really I mean and it sucks, too, because it's really felt like a year where all the high expectations were understandable because the team is good. And it's not like we're like a bad or a good team. We're just not playing to the level we should be playing. We're just playing undisciplined. We're getting all these fucking penalties, fucking timely penalties, too. That's what sucks. And fucking, I don't know how I haven't addressed this yet, but the Vikings touchdown drive, their last touchdown drive, not the field goal drive, but the touchdown drive. The 10 play 75 yard drive that started with 9 minutes and 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That drive, the refs gave him that fucking touchdown. That shit was so rigged. That pass interference call on Marshawn Lattimore. Like, Marshawn Lattimore was ass in this game. But that PI was fucking bullshit. Adam Thielen literally fucking rips his face mask off like uh, T. Higgins did to Jalen Ramsey in the Super Bowl. But it gets called for holding and pass interference on the defense, of course. So. Oh, damn, Josh Allen threw a fucking horrible pick. Oh, my God. He might house that shit. Holy, oh, my God. Is he housing it? Marlon Humphrey got the pick, in case y'all wondering. He got the commentating skills going, but he's out of bounds. I like the 10. But, damn, I mean, we're, we're so close. And now we're last in the division, by the way. The Falcons and Panthers win. Even if the Panthers lose, we're still third because they got the tiebreaker over us. So, the Falcons lose, we're third in the division. We really need Tampa Bay to lose tonight at the Chiefs. But, I mean, we just got to string together some wins. We can't even think about the division right now. We just got to string together some wins. We're fucking 1-3. and three. We've lost three straight games. And this is, like, a tough one. This, this is going to be one where we just really feel like we should have. Like, we feel like we, like we had the game. Like, it was it was within our grasp. It was literally a double doink away. I mean, losing I mean, Saints lose another one. I don't know what else to say. Shout out Chris Olave for having a good game. Shout out Andy Dalton. Shout out to the receivers. Shout out to the offense for figuring it out. I'm not going to lie. The offense is a shout out to Latavius Murray, especially. Defense. D- not even defense, guys. Because I feel like the pass rush was good. Like Davenport and Cam Jordan were good. But La- Lattimore, you need to fucking learn from this and never let it happen again. Because you sold. You almost like single handedly sold, sold this game. Like, you were getting. Like, you. I feel like you were playing really well in the beginning of the game. But as it went on, I mean, God, you're just getting fucking picked on over and over and over again. And it was bad. Like, you got to you gotta get this shit right, dude. Like, I, I love you a lot more. Like, I, I fully support you. You, but you. This was a bad game for you. You got to fix this shit. Fucking Justin Jefferson with 10 receptions, 147 yards. That's crazy. I do have him in fantasy, so it's kind of, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm happy about it because obviously, you know, Saints over fantasy, but. I mean, in a shitty fucking, on a horrible loss like this, you got to take something uh, for your for your fucking, your sanity, you know. But this one stings. We've got the Seahawks next. Hopefully we can, in the Dome too, so hopefully we can make something happen there. But it doesn't get any easier, guys. I mean, we're 1-3. and three. Really needed to start this stretch at least 2-2. Two and two. Like, you, we should not have lost the Panthers. And the, Bu- the Panthers in all these games were winnable. Like, if we don't shit the bed in the fourth quarter against the Bucks, we can definitely beat them. If Ingram and Fumble, we beat the Bucks. 
Panthers game, we just shit the bed. We still could have won. Panthers scored like six points on offense to the LaVisca Chenault touchdown. And this game speaks for itself. We should have won this game. But, yeah, fucking, I'm done talking about this shit. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, rant in the comments, please. I need to see your comments for my sanity. I need to see other people losing their minds as well. Not just me losing my mind. And I'll see you guys uh, next time.